Hey, howdy everybody, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. And it is quite dark in here. And we left off last time. We uh, ventured here to the uh, big empty, big mountain. And we're here, uh, right where we left off. I'm actually, you know, future Cody here. Uh, just to record an intro. Uh, also, um, again, sorry, it's going to be a lot of dialogue this episode. Uh, make sure you do... There's going to be a couple quests you have, and it's going to tell you to, like, talk to all of them. I think the most thing you need is, like, 9 intelligence, 8 perception. Nothing too crazy. Um, but the big thing you want to do is talk to Klein, and we'll get right into that now. Did you retrieve the technologies yet? We need them, as I have in... And speaking with Dr. Klein to end things off, um, we've got some skill checks. So, speech 70, I'd be honored if I could hear any knowledge the Think Tank uh, has to share on the sciences. Why, yes. We are filled with the knowledge you speak of. If you wish to know more, simply ask the others. They can help you. Yeah, you seem like the one in charge. You are... I am Dr. Klein, Chief Head Researcher of Logistical Operations and Ideaology here at Big Mountain. I am surprised you have not heard of me. I am first in my field. First chair, as it were, back in the days of chairs. Um, who is Dr. Mobius? Dr. Mobius was not the horrifying creature you saw upon the screen, twisted by science. He was once one of us, a friend. He researched in directions contrary to the think tank. Brains, 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 always about the brains. So we exiled him. He says he left of his own volition, but that was to save him the embarrassment. Now he sends his intelligence-consuming scorpions from the Forbidden Zone to plunder the secrets of Big Mountain. He is a menace. And yeah, we've got two uh, speech options here. I'm going to go for Medicine 50 because I think it's more XP the higher the skill. So Robo Scorpion Strain Intelligence from Living Creatures? How? I'm not certain. Perhaps it only affects machines. If so, you may be immune. If it is chems, then we have nothing to fear. Since we are afraid, it must not be chems, and you need not fear, which means you can test it. Logical. And why do I have this strange passive sensation here? It's a side effect of the cerebral scrubbing. It won't stop you from excreting, or asking questions, apparently. I have to correct that next time. Hormonal aggressive tendencies are actively suppressed, however. They are a no-no and not permitted in the think tank. The scrubbing also ensures your silence to keep Big Mountain safe. This facility is top secret, and you cannot speak of it to anyone outside of Big Mountain. Should have done it with the last batch, and the anti-aggression scrub. Yeah, why the anti-aggression programming? We had to take precautions after the last visitors. They caused a great deal of damage in a short time. Should have made sure they couldn't mention Big Mountain once they left. An oversight. Yeah, who were these visitors? Dr. Eight and Dr. O could tell you more. Dr. O more than Eight. The battle against the visitors damaged Eight's voice module. Suffice to say, those visitors are unwelcome. They stole a great many secrets and much technology. Impertinent. They also broke one of my trains. And yeah, so we're speaking of some other uh, visitors that were here. Um, I said that Dr. O, yeah. or Dr. Zero, and Dr. A could tell us more. So let's go back to Dr. Zero and Dr. Uh, Eight. I don't like to talk about it. Eight, he can't talk about it. They fried his voice module. Something good. It wasn't all the visitors, though. Only one of them got out of control. He's the one that took control of Little Yangtze, our old human farm. Um, tell me more what happened. This human. I can't believe it. He broke out of the think tank in seconds. Then he went for Yangtze, got bomb collars, and started practicing on the subjects that were still there until he got the right frequency. 
We were sending robots to stop them, and he was slicing and cutting through their shells with some souped-up laser gun like they were cheese paper. When he hacked into the mainframe, A tried to stop him and got fried. Me? He rerouted my processors to take control of the train network here. If you see the tunnels with the trains plowed into them, you can thank our visitor for that. He wrecked the whole place. While we were trying to keep containment on the surface, turns out he used one train to punch out a tunnel and escape. Sealed now. Uh... Who were the others? Two other human specimens. One arrived not long after the troublemaker. And the last one... Not sure when he showed up. Thought the first one was going to be lobotomized in Y-17. She got out somehow. The last subject, Klein might know more. He talked to him, and let him leave the think tank. Hope he knew what he was doing. Yeah, why is that? Klein knows things we don't. And I think he told some of those things to the last visitor. Dangerous things that they ever got out. Did you retrieve the technologies yet? We and yeah, we can go back to Klein now after our conversation with Zero. And I heard one of the previous visitors to the Dome spoke to you, asked you some questions. Hmm? Oh yes, the last visitor. Well, the one just before you. Had an interesting name from some language that's almost impossible to speak. What did we speak about? Melancholy fellow. Had questions about uh, history, but... Our conversation got interrupted. Twice, I believe. Once when the trains got derailed, and then a second time. Oddly enough, now that I'm accessing my databanks, I don't recall what the second time was. Mobius's incessant transmissions keep distracting me. Also, we didn't brain scrub the visitor. He may have left with some knowledge he shouldn't have. I believe, maybe. Oh well, I'm sure it's of no consequence. I don't make many mistakes in calculation or perception, so probability favors me. And yeah, so a mysterious uh, slew of visitors step by the Big Mountain before us caused a bit of trouble. And then someone was actually able to leave peacefully, so sounds pretty cool. Uh, we will, of course, learn more about that as... Uh, oh, I should have made chems, actually. As we go on. But to this table here on the left side of the room is Dr. Klein's glasses, which are really good. Um, they give you plus ten... I mean, plus five in repair and one intelligence, so very good. Uh, we're gonna wear those for now, but oh, we're over encumbered already. So let's get a few more uh, exclusives, I guess, uh, uniques, and we'll head to our quarters. All right, and upstairs there's an average locked door, and if we break in here, and we look on the ground right here, we have Dr. Mobius's glasses as well. So very cool. We check those out. I'm not familiar with them. Explosive plus 10, intelligence plus 2. So that's what maybe I was thinking about. We'll put those on because plus 2 intelligence. I don't know. I actually don't want to gain too much XP because I just realized we might get over leveled before we get some perks that we want. But there's tons of Mentats in here. Feel free to grab them. They don't weigh anything and they're just useful and they can be sold for a good amount as well. So let's uh, start meeting up in the, uh, I guess, our quarters. Alright, and we are here in the sink, I guess this is called, so let's check out the intelligence. Salutations and felicitations, sir, and a most jocund welcome to the sink. I am your electronic valet and household central processor. May I be of service, sir? And yes, I really do like this thing. I think it sounds a, it, it gives me a lot of Jarvis vibes from Iron Man, I think that's why I like it a lot. But uh, yeah, are you some kind of artificial intelligence? Regrettably not, sir. All modules in this habitat are synthetic personalities atop a mundane operating system. There is no intelligence here, sir. Um, you mean there are other personality modules here? Indeed, sir. Though if sir's aim is to activate them, I lament to inform, sir, that most have been offline for some years. If sir were to ask my opinion, I should venture that sir is better off without them. However, if Sir is determined to inflict upon Sir's self their dubious services, Sir might locate backup personality disks elsewhere in the facility. And yeah, why is that? The other modules are rather erratic, Sir. Their personality matrices are built on flawed logic.
Very good, sir. Tells us a little bit about the uh, sync personality modules here that we'll eventually get around to. But again, look at this. We've got such a nice setup here at Big Nun. And just like they said, our uh, limbs, I guess not our limbs, our organs are in this room. If you look here, we've got our spine. Pretty sick. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, and then if we come all the way down here, our heart is right here. It's kind of gross. And if we step into this room here, yeah, we've got our own little personal quarters. I think it's very cool. So I'm going to go ahead and unload our stuff. But as well, <laughs> we are in some scrubs. We've got that gun equipped and our hat. Our glasses on still, though. Pretty funny. But I will see you guys after we do some inventory management. All right. And checking out our Pit boy quest log here. We've got quite a few. We've got five quests so far in the DLC. Um, I usually go for the All My Friends Have Off switches first. But I think this time we're going to go for the Sonic Emitter upgrade right off the bat at X8. Let's go on and head there, and then we'll uh, start to pick back up on the uh, intelligence around the sink. Alright, and stepping out, we discover the Think Tank. And it looks like it wants us to head eastward, so usually I explore a bit. But I do want to stay on task for now, again, until we get that upgrade. Oh, okay. We got Night Stalkers already. Ah, that was a miss. Oh. Nice. Kind of slid to us. But I think there's more where that came from. Yo. Oh, it's just some lobotomites. Ah. Oh, okay. Still being pursued by some lot of mites, but we've discovered Z9 DNA Preservation Lab, and we do not want to go in here yet at all. Um, yeah. All right. So after a harrowing journey across the street here, we're encountering more, or at least one more Night Stalker. I saw a Cyber Dog behind him, but this guy's more of an issue, I see. Oh no. Oh, did I get him? Nice. Didn't get the dog though. Night stuck. Where's he going? He oh! Reached the X8 Research Center. It's not going to be too long of a trip here. Um, it's pretty much going to be in and out for now. We won't be able to fully explore the area until later, I believe. It's pretty cool. See if we can shoot him now. Oh. And on the table, we've got Dog and Robot Splicing Experiment Holotape. It's good for an in-game challenge. Alright, we reached the XA test terminal. Let's go ahead and uh, do the basic test. Attention students! This is the pre-recorded voice of your pre-recorded principal, Dr. Principal Boros. You may know me as the head chief first researcher of Lab Z9. Right, and we've reached the first of the test terminals. So let's get the student records. And let's head to the next one. Found the second one here. Retrieve the schedule. And let's go on to the last one. Really avoiding death, we arrive at the final one. Let's go ahead and pull these records and head on out of here. Ah! Ah! I wasn't expecting this, my bad. My bad, I should've, I know. Oh no, that's not good. Oh no. And 
and we are finally free to head out once again. Um, it wasn't too hard that time, but we knew it was coming, right? <laughs> Don't know how I forget about that all the Every time I play this DLC, I forget they, uh, they load in after the final transcript. But let's go on and leave. You got to the residential test. This is really Boros, by the way. Hello again. None of us thought you would get this far. Oh, and another wild wasteland. We got the dogs playing poker. Very nice. I'm not sure what's here when you don't have it, but nothing that cool, I guess. Yay! I am sorry I put your brain in a bowl, boy. Oh, who's a good boy? You are! And coming to the area that says residential observation, we can actually see the ominous red glow from his kennel here. There's also the dog and lobotomite splicing experiment holotape, so we're also going to need that for a challenge later on. And coming back to the um, terminal here, we can enter the residential cyber dog guard test. Let's go ahead and do that. Beware of dog, I sure will. But I am going to try to make it out of here without killing his dog. And on top of that, um, also, like I guess, trying to help it live through the ordeal because we do get jumped by some lobotomites and some scorpions, so there's that. And yeah, we have to come. When I come in here, you gotta check all of these. It's random uh, which one it's gonna be in. Uh, just try not to get like beat up, I guess. Alright, we found Gabriel's bark, very nice, and we're over encumbered. Gabe, down, down, boy, stop it. it. Ah. So, you recover the sonic image schematics. You know, was it the frequency? everyone and Gabe is still alive let's try to get out of here <laughs> all right oh no all right so we are gonna try to dodge these guys like I said I don't want to get too much XP I was really hoping not to level up too much more I know there's uh, the quest line in this gives you so much XP um, oh man there's so many let's try to make it out of here without killing them though because we are gonna have to come back here um, I guess clear them out deal with that when we have to but man I really just want to avoid XP. Alright, we have found Boomtown, a location we are going to come back to later. Sorry if I'm loud, I'm really competing here with the voice. And we've got some dogs chasing us. And we are currently being chased by a Night Stalker. So we're just trying to make it back to the, uh, the entrance here so we can just go upstairs. Oh, it, it left. Okay. I'm not gonna waste any time though. Let's just uh, lighten our load a bit and see where we're at for time. And we are back here in the sink and actually off camera, future, future Cody here, I guess. Um, remember how in the beginning of the game we were stockpiling all those pulse slugs for shotguns and when I entered a war of blues, I didn't bring any shotguns and shells because I forgot about them. But what I've done off camera here is I redid like the last, like I guess two hours of old world blues and I went back, we got the lever action shotgun, and we got the hunting shotgun, uh, fully kitted out too, with the, uh, the choking long tube. Go to ammo, we've got uh, 65 pulse slugs and 12 gauge, 300 and 20 gauge, because, you know, uh, our cowboy perk only affects uh, the lever action shotgun, and that does a ton of damage with pulse slugs. I tested it on the scorpions, uh, leaving X8 this time, so we don't have to worry about them going back in. And then the shotgun here, it, it doesn't do a lot of damage to them, I don't know. Like, not as much as this, of course, because it's affected by perks, really. 
but yeah. It was kind of a letdown. I was really looking forward to using it, but I think we are going to just stick to the lever action shotgun and just uh, keep this in the the trunk here because I've done some more room organizing. I'm trying to bring all my stuff from them. After the DLC, of course, we're going to be bringing all the stuff from Novak to Big Mountain as our new um, our new player home, player base. But yeah, we're going to end it here because it's about 20 minutes, and I'm, you know next time we'll be able to get into more action now, especially having those slugs, really. But uh, as always, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. Share around with your friends if you need awesome this type of content. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.